lives. Azu lives. All right, so we have Captain Pikachu, uh, and we have Strategist. Uh, okay, new name. I always like seeing new people. Uh, Strategist actually isn't a new player. He's uh. Okay, oh, hi. Hi. There uh, we go. Strategist Perfect. isn't a new player. He's actually a Dr. Mario from Smash 4. Um, grinded quite a bit back in Smash 4 days. And he's gotten much better before. Captain Pikachu, a Pikachu, and I believe still a Marth. Not sure if he continues to have a Marth on the side, though. Could have been switched off for a Lucina, uh, as Lucina is more consistent. But yeah. they are still the character loyalists, as you have mentioned before, uh, before this game started. Oh, very nice read on the roll. Just going to catch him with a forward smash. I mean, when, you, when you name your character after yourself, it's it's kind of hard not to just stick to that. Yeah, sometimes um, some sometimes it's hard um, to stay loyal when your character probably isn't that good. But in this case, Pikachu is one of the better characters in this game. So lucky for Captain Pikachu. He's going to be having a sort of easier time using uh, his whole toolkit against his opponents. It seems to me that there are just like universal rules and historical rules. Like if you are small and you are mobile, you're probably going to be okay. And you're fast, you're probably going to be okay. Um, sometimes. sometimes. Depends. Sometimes. Uh, I could give a counter example. That would be Pichu in melee. Oh yeah, yeah. Very nice catch on the forward. Uh, forward. Uh, on the neutral B with the forward air, and he is holding that forward smash. He really wants it. P uh, Captain Pikachu just going to stare him down. And that's one of the beauties of having such good movement speed is that you really can just sit there and wait. You can sit there and wait and then punish because, you know, I'm fast. Oh, down tilt. That's actually surprisingly long, that down tilt. Yeah, um, one thing about characters who use melee moves, um, sometimes, depending on the character, their, their limbs extend uh, yeah. and grow. But right there, I'm not sure if he had his jump or not. Pretty sure he lost his jump. Um, going to miss the up B recovery to the ledge, though. Very nice. Mm. Uh, game one from Captain Pikachu. Looks yeah. like Strategist um, is trying to figure out what to do. It seemed like he started to get a hang of it, but he started charging his his smash attacks too much. He started committing to yeah. high committal options, and that actually cost him quite a few percentage, even stocks. Big time. Yeah, it's just like when you're fighting, like I said before, like when you're fighting a character like Pikachu that can move ambiguously and a character that can like catch you <laughs> doing a smash in the middle of the stage all the way from one edge or the other, you can't really afford to be you know, making commitments like that. Yeah, uh, with a character like Dr. Mario, especially with, uh, I believe, how, how much stronger he is than, than Mario himself, um, Dr. Mario trade you, uh, trades mobility and recovery for power um, and knockback. Oh, yeah. And so with what Strategist needs to do, he, he needs to make use of his aerials a little bit more. And uh, like aerials like up air, back air, space out Captain Pikachu. He's been letting Captain Pikachu run around and uh, run all over him mm. uh, since game one. But... This adjustment in game two has been working out for him until that up smash. Mm. Again, it, high committal options, not it, worth it. It's interesting that you bring up using aerials a bit more. I just found out that aerials actually have a lot more punishability. Oh! That was nasty. That was nasty. I think my heart stopped for a second. Cat oh, dude, that 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 is what that forward smash is for, for stopping your heart. Mm. He did exactly that to Captain Pikachu right there. Insert ICU joke here. We don't need to do that here. It's been done so many times. Ooh, all right. Oh, oh yeah, we we recovering. All right, Captain Pikachu with a good uh, with good ledge guard there. He wasn't able to stop him from recovering there, but again, strategist with a nice recovery on the down B into the up B. Pikachu's up B is so good. Like he, it's so hard to just get trapped. You can go anywhere on the stage. Yeah, a uh, quick attack is a really good recovery move oh. and a good combo move. But Captain oh. Pikachu should be able to make it back. Yeah, very good use of thunder to get him extra vertical height on that. Mm. Yeah, and Mario, uh, Dr. Mario's down B is actually ridiculous. It could kill Pikachu at like 50. Yeah, um, very high knockback move. Uh, very good damage on it as well. And Strategist doing really well at holding on. Oi. Now, I, I have a question. Mm. Is Dr. Mario heavier than regular Mario? Or are they the I same weight? I think they're the same weight. Mm. I believe they're the same weight. I know I wrote it in my notebook. I don't have my notebook with me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Um, I believe they're the same weight. If they're not, then Dr. Mario should be heavier. He should be heavier. When he does that up, he drops like a rock. Yeah, very, very nice. nice cape. 
Uh, yeah, still going for those. But honestly, you know, when you're in that situation, when you have center stage, you can sort of get away with things like that, but... It's better not to use it, though. Absolutely. Especially when he's been using it the way that he has been. Good up air, though. Oh, trying to cape. Not quite. A little bit cheeky. Um, quick attack a little bit too fast for that, and he's going to not lose the stock it. just yet. But there's the forward air to catch him on the air dodge back to stage. Mm. I do respect the... Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Why are you spot dodging? Yeah. That's what happens. Should be using his speed. Oh, within the grab there. Yeah. Very nice dash attack. Mm, Going into the reverse up air twice. Back airs for media, I believe that was 18%. Ooh, oh, okay, getting both hits. Uh, but that dash attack did not do him any favors, but we're still kind of playing in the neutral right now. Really nice. Gonna get the upper, no confirm on the second upper there. Ah, uh, the spot dodge, like you said, yeah, he's getting in trouble when he does it like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Poor man's uh, parry right there. He's gonna <laughs> save him. But that, he could have thundered yeah, and killed him, that's but. That's what I thought. It's all right. Uh, Captain Pikachu still, ha oh, he had the advantage for a bit, but that up smash gonna take it. Um, Bruh. Very gross angles that those can send you at. Bruh, <laughs> he didn't even get a kill cam. <laughs> oh my god. Even the game thought he was going to live, but um, no. <laughs> the game not, not, with not that. used. Mm -mm. Not used to Dr. Mario. Okay, uh, you know, that's interesting. Like, when I see a character like Dr. Mario just kill Pikachu, like, I, we all know that he can kill incredibly early, but that is a nice little contrast when it comes to the matchup. How so? Well, you have a character that gets gimped really hard, but is also able to kill his opposition, being Pikachu, at like 40, 50. You know? I wouldn't say 40, 50. I would say safely around 70. Safely around 70. Safely around yeah. 70. Mm. If, if he's going really hard, then probably 60, mm. 55, 60. Down B is another story completely, though. Ooh. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What did he hit him with? He's at 40. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the case, down into it. Strat strategist ho still holding center stage pretty well. Oh, yeah, big time. All right, just going to miss the Shidori right there. Shidori? Yeah, uh, a friend of mine calls it the Shidori. What was the move? Uh, the forward smash. Oh, Shidori. All right. Okay. Just going to clank with... Uh, with that thunder, not gonna do him any. Ooh. Nice jab reset. Oh, again, uh, a big problem quite a few players have uh, when it comes to jab blocks or tech chases is they space themselves a little bit too close. Everyone's still getting used to the to the spacing and timing after jab blocks or tech chases here. Oh, wow. That was, the, oh yeah, forward smash. I was gonna say, that was kind of a, a risky follow up with the, the dash attack. I feel like uh, Dr. Mario could have just landed with an air. And I'm wondering why I don't see a whole lot of pills coming from Dr. Mario. Uh, he's um, just kind of playing Pikachu's game, it seems like. It it has set knockback. It gets set up for some stuff for Dr. Mario. It can set up for kills, too, if I recall correctly. But normally with, with pills, you kind of... Oh, no. Not sure what that was for. He probably meant to reverse up B, catch a quick attack. Mm. Um, but it's fine. Nope, Dr. Uh, Dr. Tornado not going to kill just yet. Good B reverse. Man, what these the are hell? working. These are working. Uh, it worked because Captain Pikachu missed space to dash grab, and he was in his N animation of dash grab. So the very tip of up smash actually caught him. Ooh, easy 42. Very it's nice loops. From ah! He's got his jump. Nah. <laughs> He's got his jump. He's got the tornado, but it ain't no Luigi. Mm-mm. So does it work like uh, Luigi in 4 where you're just, you jump and then do down B and then you start rising really quick? I can't say for sure. It looked like it does, but honestly, I don't know for sure. Mm. I, won't, I, I will try not to say anything I don't know for sure. Yeah, all I have are questions for Dr. Mario. I've not really, and it's cool because I, I like uh, footsies characters like Dr. Mario, uh, but Pikachu knows how to play the footsies especially. Oh, yeah, and to answer your question earlier that you asked me when I got on 